Hey guys, it's Jeff here. Today I'm going to show you how to make pixel perfect and CSS admins in Adobe After Effects. Okay, so first things first, you're going to be getting your Adobe apps. I'm going to link tutorials to those in the description using Gen P. Any crack will work, but these are the most reputable. You must have Adobe After Effects and Media Coder for this. And I highly recommend Audition, Premiere Pro, and Photoshop. All right, next step and a pretty quick step is getting the fonts. Just download the Google Drive link in the description. It will be labeled as fonts. And then do what I'm showing on the screen and click install for all the fonts. I mean, all right, next we're going to be getting the Video Copilot Saber plugin for After Effects. Link will be in the description. It will be called Saber. Just go there, click on the download button. It works for both Windows and Mac. Extract the zip and then run the exe and install it just like I'm doing on screen. Okay, for the last step, you're going to be downloading the plugin used to make the actual circle. Drive link will be in the description. You're going to download it from Drive like you did everything else. You'll download the zip. Once it's finished downloading, just extract it. Run the exe, do what I'm doing on screen. Then just hit install. Then when you get to the end page for licensing info, there's going to be a key in the description. Put that in and you'll be done. Okay, final step. You're just going to be downloading the template from Google Drive. The link will be in the description. Just download all that, extract it, and now we can finally, okay, now we can finally get to making the fan. Okay, so then you're just going to double click on the AEP file called Universal NC template.aep. Pretty self explanatory. It's going to open. I already have After Effects open, but yeah. Uh, hey guys, Jeff from the future here. I realized that the layout that I I'm going to use later in the tutorial isn't the same as the default After Effects layout. So I'm just going to show you how to get to my layout so that it, it can be like understandable to you guys. Okay. Hey guys. So when you load the template, it should look something like this and it's just a fucking mess. So you get what you're going to do. This could be a window called essential graphics right in the middle. I'm searching with my mouse. You right click on there, close panel. Then you're going to do that for all these like this until you get the audio. When you get the audio, you're going to drag this. It's going to be right here, this rectangle thing. And then you just get to put it over here. Go back to your composition. Continue doing that. Effects presets. Put it up here. Blah. Align. Close. Close the line. Then when you get to character, you can put this just up here. Paragraphs also going to go up here. Tracker. Close that out. Close that out. So you're going to click on window. Click just down over right here. Click it until you see effect tool right here. Put that there and put it right here. And then you can just adjust this a bit. Make, make this a little bigger, this a little smaller. It's like that. And now you have your workspace and we continue with the tutorial. Also, if you load into your template and your logos look something like this, then all you do is go to don't touch logos, right? Click on one of these. Let's say it's going to be fade and black image. Right click on it. Is fitted file. I'm going to go here. It's going to be an animation out of the images. Just fade and black import. Then I'm going to go get chance music logo. Blah. Check this. Close. And just like, and then everything should. It should find everything else. All right. So we're here in After Effects. So first thing you want to do is you're going to want to get your song in your background. We some tips on this in part two of this video, which we released in about a week or so. Um, anyway, so you can right click on this project space right here. You're going to go to import file and you're just going to find this. So I got, this is my background and this is my audio. So I'm going to do that. And there is two different types of layouts here. There's the universal layouts and there's the specific layouts. I'm going to show you the universal layouts first. So for universal layouts, you can go to this, you're going to open up this folder by clicking on this area. You're going to double click on this thing called audio for universals. You're just going to drop your audio in here. Then you're going to go to whatever composition you have. So the, these are ordered by quality. So this is going to be, this one's going to be anything after December, 2015. This is just for one layout. It's in March 2015. This is for mid 2015 and this is for before 2015. So 
my song was released in September 2014, so I'm just going to double click on here. Uh, and then, so you can see Circle's audio reacting to the audio. So you're going to click on this, this thing adjust it. So you're going to find, you're going to pick your color. So let's say I wanted to do gray fierce, I don't know if I can but it's whatever. So then I'm going to go to here and I'm going to assign my layout. So these are organized by dates. And I know that my song was released in September 2014, and that would be this one. I'd have it checked. Uh, basically, you should switch the layout. You're just going to do it like this. So now I'm in the white one. Take your background. Shift. You're just going to drag it from here. You're going to put it at the bottom. And it's going to look like this. But you're going to need to change a few things. Or right click on it. Go to transform. Fit to comp wood. And you can also do fit to call. Or fit to comp wood. So we're going to go to effects and presets. We're going to type in a hue slash saturation. To drag it onto here, so just leave that so it's a saturation, so black and white, or whatever the hell this is. I'm just going to desaturate just a little bit, but minus 20. This is the lightness, this is whites, black. So you should always be darkening your backgrounds. I'm just going to set this to like negative 40. You can see it looks pretty good. We just have to play around with this and see what works for each background, but negative 20, negative 40 are good starting settings. So then we're going to do is we're going to click on this, this is our audio. We're going to look at right up here or 2715. We're going to go to or 17. And I'm just going to press N on my keyboard, click to the render area. So then I'm going to go to file, export, add to Adobe Media Encoder queue. So then I already have the Media Encoder open because I was rendered something previously. But uh, yeah, it's, and then you're just going to click the start arrow. And then over will Oh shit, something that I just forgot to say. So, um, anything labeled with a color. So like this says red slash mint. You're going to do this only if the thing that you have is of that color. So like drum step or glitch hop. And then, then also same these, it's labeled with a color. And you have that color that takes precedent over the main layout that, and then similarly, or if it says alt layout, that means that either, either this or the main one. Okay. So now that I've shown you how to use the universal layout, I'm going to show you how to use the individual layouts. So you're going to go to layouts official or unofficial, it doesn't matter. And so modern layouts can be anything after 2020, this is going to be like the middle era. And this is rusted and 14. And this is like special layouts. So let's say I want 24. So I'm going to drag my audio in like that. Then I'm going to drag my background in also like that. I'm going to do a lot of the same stuff when I did there. Get a transform, upload, use a saturation. Then I'm going to click on this. It's going to be called NCF 1080p or RK 1080p, whatever. So I'm going to go to audio react. I'm going to set this that thing. Um, so then I'm going to particle and I'm just going to change it to whatever the hell. So let's say I want pink this, light it, slow it. Yeah, now we're good. This looks awful, but whatever. So now again, I'm going to go to work. Here, hit M, then file or Okay, so for the pre circle layouts, it's going to be, you know, your static layouts, etc. So you don't need a backup for these, obviously. So, like, for example, this is the moment sidebars. So you're going to drop your audio in, just like you did normal. You're going to, or and blah. So then you're going to go to sidebar two, audio react layer, anti hero. That's what that song is called. So you're just going to do like that. And then you're going to click on the text. And then you're going to go control the color, whatever the hell you want. Say it's in the answer, whatever the hell. Yeah. So then you're going to go to the very beginning. 
We're just getting a cherry. So I can name in some of this is. Yep, so you're just gonna put your tongue in there. And then you are done. And this one, this is another one of the side of our layouts. Take the adjuster, and you're just gonna pick your thing like this. Pretty heavy explanatory. And again, you're gonna set this audio layer to all your thing. Also pretty self-explanatory, just like I did before. So to save for this one, I'm like, I'm not even gonna show it because I'm not lazy. Uh, oh shit. Um so then for these, you would have to do audio react anything. It's gonna be the Facebook layouts. So you're just gonna like set ping P and B or bring hip hop. Just like that. And so miscellaneous twenty club layouts. So like you can select like the Saturno main or this really sick one. And again, your cups, you can drop your audio layer in. And it's just like that. And you're going to click the render area, blah. I've already shown this, but I'm tired. So, and same with this. And there's, and then there's this thing, unofficial layouts. And this is just like cool shit that I've made, like NTF, like Monster Cat. Um, and there's contact layouts to so just like get all kind of what if, which is 2024 rusted. So now I'm going to go and do some layout specific tips. So, uh, you can skip this if you like, this is just for people who want to get like, better, I guess. I don't know. So for next gen, okay. Next gen, you're, you, you're, you're going to adjust your color using this thing called lean circle. Well, it's, it's like dubstep or something. So that's, but, but you have to adjust, set the audio layers for all three differently. So like here, like this obviously won't write, so you need to set this audio react, get layer blah, like this. That's pretty self-explanatory and yeah, the rest is simple. But yeah, for the oblivion layouts. Layout. You're gonna do it like normal, except that you're gonna offset the audio layer by about two seconds. And it's more I get it like here. Just so like on you like yes, your sure goes like this during the glow animation, but it's really weird. <laughs> 